I'm really bad guys. Yesterday I slept at 6 a.m. I don't know, I guess I am definitely a night owl and you know, with this whole quarantine, I'm sure a lot of you guys are finding yourself in really weird sleeping schedules too. But I woke up around 1 p.m. But I did do quite a bit of studying yesterday, which I'm proud about. Currently we're on the musculoskeletal block and I have a test in about two weeks. So I've been working on that. I don't know about you guys, but anatomy is definitely not one of my strong suits and not my favorite subject because I hate just memorizing things. So it's been kind of hard for me, honestly, but I'll show you guys a bit of what I've been doing and how I'm gonna be studying today. But first, I'm gonna grab some lunch. I meal prepped a bunch of tacos, so I'm gonna be eating that. And I'll also show you guys my view. Sadly, it's pretty cloudy today, but I am really liking my view here. If you guys aren't already, definitely follow me on Instagram. I have a picture of a view outside my window from my apartment. But yeah, I'll show you guys my view outside. Apparently, I have um, a really good view and I can actually see the sky tower, so I'll show you guys. Yeah, so this is my view. Um, maybe in my other vlogs I'll show you guys on a better day, but usually I can see a really pretty sunset. New Zealand has really beautiful sunsets here, I love it. And over there is where all the ports are, where you can go and ride a ferry to all the islands. So yeah, on a nice sunny day, it looks really pretty over there. Yeah, look how empty the streets are, it's crazy. I'm so excited to eat my tacos now. Um, usually when I eat, I like to watch something on YouTube or Jane the Virgin. If you guys are watching that show, let me know. I'm so obsessed with it. It's just something really nice and light that I like to watch. Um, or I will video chat my friends or my boyfriend. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Hi. video chatting my friends in Canada. What time Hi. is it for you guys? It's, uh, I think it's 1125. It's 11.25 p.m. for them, and it is 3.25 p.m. for me. But yeah, I'm just gonna chat with them a little longer, and talk Bye. to you guys later. I'm gonna start studying now, but before I do that, I just want to show you guys how I've been studying for this musculoskeletal module. So this is just an example of some notes I took for the pec girdle lecture that we had. Um, so what I started doing was I made a chart um, for the muscle. So for example, here I have origin, insertion, nerve, and action. And then I usually like to find a good picture that helps um, illustrate the insertion or origin points of the muscle. It's taken me a while to try to figure out how to take notes on anatomy. So hopefully this works for me. Um, so far it makes sense. What I also like to do is watch videos. I find videos are really helpful for me for anatomy. Um, I'm not really much of a textbook girl, but a resource that I read was helpful and that my school actually provides is the Ackland's Video Atlas of Human Anatomy. And Ackland is, I think, a plastic surgeon and he goes through, um, you know, muscles, arteries, veins and stuff. And he has really beautiful cadavers that he dissects to show different structures. So I find his videos really simple and helpful. So in anatomy, usually we also have something called a practical skills test. It's basically like a bell ringer where we go into our human anatomy lab and our instructor would point out a structure on the cadaver and we have to say what it is in, I forget how long, I think like 20, 40 seconds or something like that. Um, now that's done online, I'm not sure how that's gonna be, but Ackland's is also really good for um, those type of tests. If I'm going to consult the textbook, what I've been using is Gray's Anatomy um, and usually I'll pull stuff off of Gray's to add into my notes as well. But like I said, I pretty much prefer videos. It helps me a lot. But maybe after my test, I'll go more into depth of what resources I found were helpful for anatomy. But one more thing that I wanted to show you guys actually. 
So for example, I wrote here in my notes that the psoriasis anterior, which is also known as a boxer's muscle, provides um, protraction of the scapula. And to really reiterate that um, in my head, I really need to see the action occurring. So what's really cool about this app is you can actually either go here and go under motion or you can go, you know, find the muscle and then go under here. And here it'll say psoriasis anterior, um, that's cut off, but it should say protraction and abduction. So let's click on that. And you can actually see the motion happening. So seeing this really helps me to consolidate that information in my head. So yeah, that's really cool. I also really like this app because it helps me to kind of see um, the relationship between each different muscle. So um, you can peel off some muscle layers if you want stuff like that so you can kind of see like which muscle is superficial and which muscle is underneath of the other muscle and stuff like that um, if that makes sense i actually just started using this app myself so i'm not totally pro at it yet if you guys have any tips and tricks um, definitely let me know so when i study i usually like to call my boyfriend on skype and have him study with me have him kind of in the background so let's see if he picks up Hello! <laughs> Say hi to the vlog! <laughs> He's shy. <laughs> so, what do you do? What do you want? <laughs> I didn't tell you! What do you do? <laughs> yes. So, he's gonna accompany me studying. What have you been doing today, babe? Just coding. Yes, he's coding. Hit him up if you're coding too, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna study now. I miss him. He is very far away, but we've been Skyping a lot. So yesterday I was actually studying the brachial plexus. Shout out to the other medical students out there who have also either are currently studying the brachial plexus or have already, you know, it's definitely quite a beast. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna continue working on that and chipping away. So just some of the notes that I've been making. So it's currently 7 11 p.m. and I'm just eating tacos again for dinner and while I do that I am also yes that's my boyfriend in the background he's actually sleeping right now and no guys I'm not watching him sleep I swear I'm not creepy um, but the time difference um, between Auckland and Toronto is around like 17 hours so I just have them in the background. It's just kind of nice. I don't know if you guys are like that too, but kind of just like having him in the background for company. But yeah, as I'm eating dinner, I just found some videos on the Exilla that I'm gonna watch. So yeah. So I just finished dinner and here I have a little snack that I made. So the other day I made chocolate covered strawberries, which I love, so I'm just gonna eat that. Okay, so it is 8.30 p.m. and right now I'm just kind of quizzing myself in my head. She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's lining up to see her. Okay, so it's currently 2 a.m. and I'm pretty proud of myself. I actually got quite a bit of studying done. And I feel like because I was filming today, it actually made me more productive, which is awesome. But look who's up! What time is it for you? Hello. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what time is it? It's 10 a.m. 10 a.m., yeah. The vlog saw me watch you sleep. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard to go to sleep at this time because he's up and I want to stay up and talk to him so a lot of times i'm like staying up at odd hours but yeah 
I think I'm gonna call it a night now because I'm pretty tired. I'm going to shower and maybe treat myself to an episode of Jane the Virgin. We'll see. I might be too tired and fall asleep. But yeah, thank you guys for watching my video today. Let me know if you guys have any video requests down below in the comments. And remember to like and comment and subscribe as well as turn on the bell notification for my future videos. I did film a couple of vlogs of my boyfriend and I exploring New Zealand two weeks before school started for me. So I'll be uploading those in the near future. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I know that right now it's a hard time for a lot of people, but I hope everyone continues to stay safe and healthy and that you're enjoying your time social distancing. I know it's tough, but it is really important. But yeah, I hope everyone stays safe and healthy and I'll see you guys in my next video. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad to feature. You'll find the beauty goes much deeper. Oh.